So welcome back. So now we can generate some kind of static view like I just showed you. Now that's fun, but I would actually like to present the list of all of my persons inside the view. Now there are a few ways we can do that and one of them is doing a strongly typed view and we'll get back to that soon. But right now I just want to show you these two and try to explain how they are working together. You remember we talked about the model view controller setup, right? And the model in our case is the person, the controller is the person controller, and in our case the view is the person folders index CSS HTML file. Those are the, so those is how we make the model view controller work together. And the way that these two talk together is we have um, the person controller here knows about the view using this function right here. So it knows about a view result and that's actually what the view is all about. So we can send from the controller, we can send information to the view. The view can then use that information to make some HTML using CS, C sharp and uh, some functions and whatever we want to do, send back a pure HTML view and then send that back to a user somehow. So that's kind of the goal. So what do we want to do? Well, we want to use one common thing these two have together is the view back. So they both know this view back. So let's try for the fun of it to say view back dot persons equals persons. So what I'm saying is send in the list of persons from here, from the controller into the view back before you start building the view. Now that's pretty cool because that means that now I can actually use viewback.persons inside the view. So I'll jump over here and now I'll, let's just start with a basic for if, um, sorry, <laughs> for each loop. So I write for each. Now notice the at sign in front of it because that means that we're going to write some C sharp code right here. So in the for each loop, I'm going to explain just like you would in a normal for each loop that I'm going to get in a person in person in and then I need to specify what I'm actually passing in here. So I can't just say view persons because it doesn't know what that is. If I mouse over here, you'll see that um, it'll actually expect this to be some kind of object, but doesn't know quite what it is. It's, it's a dynamic, so it, it, you can set something, but you don't know what it is, to be honest. So it's just, a, and here is, it's something, we don't know what it is. Let's, uh, let's try and wrap this up and maybe it'll give us an error so we can try, I can try and explain it even better. Actually, it accepts it. Then each of these guys will now just be an object. And that's okay, but I want it to be person. So let's, um, let's typecast this by saying, I want the persons to be as a list of persons. Now it doesn't know the person one, so we'll have to import that. Just like you would in any other CS file, you also have to import here in the view. So let's just go to the top just to show you. So this is how you do an import in the view. You say add using, and then you write the, the name. Just like you do here. The only difference is, since it doesn't know, it has to know that this is C sharp. So that's why I'm adding the add sign in front of it inside the CS HTML code, right? So now we have the for each loop. Now it, it complains still. It says, well, there is actually a risk that this could be null. So let it let it fix that as well. Let me just give you guys some more space after explaining the, you guys now get the view controller, how they work together. Let's give it some more space and let's try and ask it to complete this. So it says, instead you should just do a direct cast and uh, hopefully that'll work. But I still think you could get an null pointer. Doesn't matter, ours will never be null, so it doesn't matter. I just want to show this to you. Now we have an actual person here. Right? So now we can do the same thing, but now we can write real HTML code. So I'll write BR just like we decided we did, wanted to do earlier. And then I want to write the person's name inside. Um, let's make, let's make just a pure, right now we we'll just make a P with a person dot name. I need to write the at sign in front of that as well. At person dot name. Notice again, every time I want to do some C sharp code, I will actually go in and write the at sign. So I'll do another one here, I'll do another P, and then I'll do, um, add, no, let's let's do divs instead, because then they get get to two lines. So, so let's just forget the BR here and just math them. Div, there we go, and then let's do a BR here before we put in the next guy. Then you'll have like a, a new line before the next guy. So we also need to do the add person here, just to uh, tell it that a new person is coming here as well. Uh, sorry, a new ID of the person is coming here. 
person.id. Just notice, uh, this is the cool thing. Um, I can actually, in my HTML code, write C sharp code directly. So if you know C sharp, you know this now as well. And then the racer engine, let me just write that for you. The racer engine, this is how you spell it. The racer engine comes in and helps you out saying, well, this is not something a browser could read. I have to convert it into HTML, but I know all the syntax and how to put it into HTML. So when I see it for each loop, I know I have to, for each of the persons, I have to make this available for the user, right? It's pretty, pretty damn awesome. It, it's awesome, I think. Good. So let's save this and uh, let's try and rerun it. This time it's not um, a strongly typed view because I'm not, I'm not typing anything. I'm just using the view bag, which is a dynamic list, right? So notice that I have to cast it. I have to say, I expect this to be a list of persons. I have to tell it that. In a strong type view, I wouldn't have to tell you that. And we'll get back to that in one of the later videos. But now what we're doing is we're saying, before you actually show the view, go in and populate all the persons inside the view back persons. When you go and make the view, I can pull out that information inside the view and use that to actually populate the data. Pretty awesome. Let's try and run it. 